Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from everyone's favorite Halo YouTuber. I'm Rehab, your favorite Halo YouTuber, and today I am here solely to complain about the Halo Infinite Rocket Launcher, or the Spankers as some may call it. You may be thinking, how could you complain about the Rocket Launcher? It's pretty straightforward, right? You shoot kind of near someone, it's basically a free kill. Well, you would be completely wrong because I have tons and tons of clips of me using the rockets where it seems like the rocket just literally does no damage. Or how I end up killing myself but not the kid I actually shot the rocket at. But then there's plenty of times where I feel like I distanced myself pretty well from a rocket fired at me. But I still get insta-killed. I can't be the only one that has this experience, right? Guys, please validate me. I'm not sure if it's a latency thing or what, but it just feels like 343 program the rockets to hurt yourself more than the enemy players in this game. It's so annoying. Like rockets are the ultimate power weapon. It should be two free kills every single time you get them. But I'm a goddamn liability out there with the rocket launcher. More likely to kill myself than the other team. Like should I just be grabbing them and throwing off the map just to save myself at this point? I always tell the people I play with that I should not have snipe because I'm just a liability. Just missing shots on players not looking and being literally no help to my team whatsoever. I'm better off just using the BR. But sheesh, at least I haven't found a way to kill myself with a sniper yet. Let's pray that never happens, I might as well just quit gaming at that point. But back to the rocket launcher, I just feel so handicapped with them at times. It makes me play scared because it seems like the best outcome is that I kill the enemy player and myself. Worst case, I kill only myself. It never really ends up being an advantage for me. I assume they balanced the rockets this way because they had to take into account the equipment like the grapple shot and the thruster. Maybe if the rockets were too good then grappling yourself into the sky to rain down an insta-kill beacon of death would be way too overpowered. I get that. I said back in the beta how having grapple rockets was by far the most fun combo in Halo Infinite. But in the full game it feels like I need to grapple halfway across the map just to avoid blowing myself up alongside the enemy. But traits just kind of feel like the theme of Halo Infinite. I swear, most of my close quarters fights end with us meleeing each other and trading. Cross map fight? Oh, we just BR'd each other. I have rockets, and we're both dead. I feel like the melee one is the most frustrating one though. Like when I turn a corner and there's someone there, it's already predetermined. We're both dying. It doesn't matter if I had the first two shots, the enemy had the first two shots, or if one of us has rockets. We're both dying regardless. I tend to just dislike close quarters fights entirely in this game. Obviously Halo has tons of close quarters fights and it's unavoidable getting in close to the enemy when you need to push for the oddball or one of the strongholds but generally I prefer shooting at medium or even long range. My biggest problem with the Halo Infinite Rockets is that it really does seem like they do more damage to yourself than enemies. Because at face value, it seems like the rockets will be almost too good in this game. The explosive blast in this game seems to be very wide and lethal. Just look at the grenades. They seem to be like baby nukes sometimes. And I feel like the rockets function in the same sort of way. But when you get in close, it just feels like you can shoot the rocket past the enemy so that the explosive is closer to him than you, but then you'll kill yourself and leave the enemy one shot. It makes literally no sense to me. It drives me insane. But yeah, those are just my opinions on the Halo Infinite Rocket Launcher. Sorry for the rant, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and see if anyone else has had the same experience. I can't be the only one, right guys? <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video or this type of content, consider leaving a like as it helps push the video out to new viewers. And subscribe for more videos just like this. I upload every single day, so hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. I also stream every day over on twitch.tv slash rehabs for quitters if you want to interact over there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Later.